Hi guys, uh, it's me again, Bobby Ananta. <laughs> right, here you go. That's uh, I got uh, had uh, delivery today all the Indonesian spices. Uh, here you go. I already uh, dry up today because they when you uh, have a uh, delivery from a tropical country, they usually still uh, feel like uh, uh, have a high humidity. So make sure you dry up about two hours, three hours if you got a really really nice weather like today. Uh, like 32 degrees or 33 degrees I think uh, Celsius which is quite hot outside so I will share to you how uh, we can use all the Indonesian spices and uh, I will share it with you and if you want to uh, try as well might be we I can uh, send it to you or we can share right. here you go Oops, it's that easy. Uh, first of all, is my favorite that I always use every single day for my days when I cook uh, soups. Uh, like it's everything. That's definitely um. That's my favorite is muntok uh, white pepper. That's uh, Indonesian white pepper. The taste of uh. Indonesian's uh, white pepper is quite uh, floral because I don't know if it's, if it's you compare with uh, the other like um, uh, Malaysians or uh, Sri Lanka that because yeah they, they, they have uh, white pepper as well that's uh, this is like uh, quite a more floral um, uh, aroma so that's uh, but and then uh, the the taste of this uh, white pepper as well quite uh, pungent, like really strong if it's compared with uh, the other uh, white pepper. Um, this, uh, if you uh, cook uh, Indonesian uh, noodles, Indonesian bak mi gorengs, better if you put the white pepper is after the dish is uh, cooked properly and then you sprinkle with white pepper on top of uh, your dish or that pak mi goreng it's gonna be like the flavor is like make it you uh, more drawing that's what I said right here you go the that's white pepper the muntok white pepper that's my favorite white pepper from uh, Indonesia the second one is this is the loss of uh, pepper because in uh, UK or in Europe this quite we never use it anymore or it's quite difficult to find it unless you get it from uh, real pepper mongers or uh, internet because if you can get it from uh, grocery I'm not sure you get it is tile pepper or meteor pepper if it's in Java, in Japanese uh, language, we call it kamukus. This similar, we can use it for uh, gulai or uh, uh, Indonesian curry. This uh, tail peppers is as not as pungent as black pepper, but is uh, give it you a uh, hit on um, like uh, hit on your tongue straight away after you uh, eat it uh, or you try it so this uh, as if you uh, make a berry compote or uh, you make it like um, a dessert like this is really nice if you try with a uh, raspberry or a strawberry so raspberry strawberry is really nice with uh, kamukus uh, uh, give it a hint of uh, uh, nice on your uh, dessert so, if you want to try, especially in summertime like this, is try. It's really good. Uh, the other one that uh, I will uh, show you is the other lost and found uh, pepper is long peppers. This long pepper, I think uh, Nigel Slater is always, uh, not always, but he said uh, in one of uh, recipe that he he used this one uh, with a uh, strawberry uh, recipe. I think it's strawberry recipe. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I think strawberry recipe. This is quite nice as well. This 
let's not travel uh, along um, in uh, around the world because they got like really high pH so there's not uh, travel along so the taste is so hot is that's hotter than uh, white pepper I think um, so if you try this one with your um, another one with berries with strawberries or anything with uh, for your curry as well that's really nice but I try this one is on on top of the um, uh, custard is give you hint of in your tongue after that sweet nice uh, smooth uh, custard and then you get a bang really strong uh, stronger peppers peppery uh, taste it's really nice it's better if you use this one on top of it uh, instead of nutmeg that's what I'm thinking but it's depend on you if you wanna try to use this uh, long pepper another uh, one is that's my favorite as well is maize right maize is we use it in uh, spec cook uh, spices uh, blend usually if a maize and then uh, clove uh, nutmeg and then uh, vanilla and uh, cinnamon just uh, make it like blend you blend it like uh, just uh, if you use uh, one spoon every one spoon of uh, one spoon of cinnamon, one spoon of uh, not make one, uh, and then like bunch of uh, you just use half half spoon of clove because clove is like really overpowering, and so if you mix uh, your blend, this uh, is my favorite one. This the other one as well. That's not as strong as a not make because mix is only the the. Uh, outside uh, skin of the uh, not mix of fruit so and then if you see this one if you get from if you get from a uh, tropical you know like from Indonesia or something like that you sometimes you still get uh, not mix still on the shelf like a shell like this so that's quite nice but usually you really get it it likes to really wrinkle but a really pungent and the taste is a really strong dense uh, dip, uh, difference um, uh, not big if you get it uh, already get uh, like already open like this and this one definitely you can keep it about two years three years don't worry about it it's still all right to use it if you use that uh, Indonesian nutmeg try to get still on a shell that is much better to uh, keep it and then you just use it open like just bang it and then you can use it a bit of it but this one my favorite uh, part of uh, nutmeg is maize you can use it for uh, bread or um, uh, if you bake a cake just like yeah use it for this one uh, the the other ones if uh, if you see a cardamom, usually you use definitely use green cardamom because that is more uh, familiar and that's typical more Indian uh, spice that use uh, green cardamom like this. That's the green one. The green one, yeah, usually is a stronger than white one. That's white one is typical Indonesian one. The they can use it. If it's Indonesia, usually you use it for a uh, coffee uh, blend or uh, a tea blend. Like uh, this, typical like spice uh, spice tea, like what uh, Indian uh, say it is uh, masala tea. But if it's in Indonesians ones, is we usually for like bajigur, typical like uh, West Java or bandrek. Uh, that's typical uh, West Java as well or Central Java as well or like uh, Kopi Jahe usually Kopi Jahe they use like white cardamom as well so here you go you just pick it one of them and then you just like similar with cardamom you just got the uh, seed that you need to use it this one the seed inside of the cardamom uh, but if you uh, like more uh, light uh, taste, the white one is much better. 
but if you wanna like stronger, you use the uh, Indian's uh, green cardamom. This one, cardamom. This one. This one is as well. The cardamom is you can use it for a uh, spec cooks a plan, which is you can use it for uh, bread. You can use it for uh, cakes. So. He goes especially when uh, into Christmas when you want to like really warm uh, spices uh, cake or dessert or drink. The next one is that's that's typical if you Batak uh, in Indonesia the uh, tribe or uh, ethnic of Batak. This one is my favorite one if you cook pork. Saksang is andaliman, or if it's in a UK, we call it Sichuan pepper. I got it from definitely this one is from Sumatra Utara, North Sumatra. That's really strong. Uh, like really orangey, uh, lemony flavor of uh, pepper. So. I love this one for uh, cooking my favorite uh, satsang uh, for uh, pork and uh, if you want to grill uh, a pork as well this uh, typical if it's batak karo this one is nice the, for that this right the another one is this one a uh, fennel Fennels is like this tip similar with uh, I think we get it when you know like four or five centuries when start uh, Indonesian have trade uh, had trade with uh, Indian and uh, remember that's in from five centuries to until twelve centuries that's Indonesian is like um, some more Hinduist um, uh, kingdom that's is is more from get it from uh, India so all the trade all the um, uh, everything's from India so I think this uh, it must be from India when we this coming first times in four five centuries uh, right this uh, sweet fennels same uh, you can use it for uh, kari ayam or gulai kambing uh, blend it for uh, all that ingredient uh, or if you have Bad breath, so just stick it once and then just like and then 